Good evening, good evening, everyone. How are Hi, you, Miss. boys and girls? How are you? Good evening, how are Hi, you? Evening. Fine, thank you for asking. Welcome, Kevin. We have Kenya, Sandra Margarita, Alba Marisol, Glenda Guadalupe. Who else we have? We have Glenda, Judy Edith. Welcome. Hello. How are you guys? How are you tonight? On this beautiful Monday. How was the weekend? ¿Qué tal el fin de? How was the weekend? Good? Did you enjoy it? ¿La disfrutaron? Good. Yes? It was good? Yes. No problem yes. on the weekend. A little or relax, watching Netflix, watching series. Yes? <laughs> All right, good. Remember that the last week we saw the simple present, right? With WH questions, we use do, we use does, right? Yes, no questions too. This time we continue with simple present, but with an another interesting topic and it's with something we enjoy something we love and this one is about food everybody like food right of course we cannot survive without food the name of this unit is broccoli is good for you do you like broccoli yes yes, yes. you like it yes okay yeah, it's very good right you can add lemon salt you make it with salads. You can also put cream in different manners is that you can eat broccoli. And we know that it's good for our body. Now, what are we going to learn? Vocabulary related to food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. We have some examples here. We have almonds, vegetables, and dip. Chocolates, they're so delicious. Cookies, now we know there are different types of cookie also. Let's see some extra vocabulary. Well, the other one will be cake, delicious also cake. Candy, many people like candy. Grapes, corn chips, like those churritos, right? Corn chips that they are very popular also. Let's see other ones. Hot dogs, the famous choris. Do you like choris? <laughs> I like. <laughs> I like. Famous. I like. They are delicious. They are very good. Aunque pienso que ahora le han bajado un poco la calidad. Don't you think? Valen más y ya no son tan buenos. Exactly. It's less, less quality. Tiene menos calidad, right? <laughs> well, after the pandemic, Everything changed. Después de la, de la pandemia, todo fue cambiando, right? Because like, before, before the pandemic, they were the choris very big, good ingredients, good quality. Very expensive. I'm sorry? Very expensive. It's very expensive. Now it's very expensive. I remember that before they used to cost like 80. Solían costar 80, 85 centavos. 90 de ahí le fueron exactly. Ahora valen 1.20. Yes, that's true. They are expensive. But you need to eat like two choris, like to be a little bit satisfied. At least, por lo menos, right? At least two choris to be satisfied. So hot dogs, we have ice cream. That's also really delicious. Peanuts. What are Peanuts. No alcanza a visualizar qué es. Maní. Ah. Sí, casi no sé, se logra ver. Como Pero maní. Son semillas de maní. Ajá, correcto. Those are peanuts. Oh. Actually, okay. there was a, a cartoon. Hay una caricatura. You remember? Mm. Charlie Brown, right? It appeared. Peanuts. That was the cartoon. We also have some fruits. Pineapple. Watermelon. Potato chips. Popcorn, that's really good to enjoy, right? To watch a good movie. Right now, popcorn. Pizza. Many people love pizza with many ingredients, too. Do you have any My other food? Pizza. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which one? 
My favorite thing is uh, Little Caesars. <laughs> really? Do you love it? It's good. It has a good flavor and it's not expensive, right? It's cheap. Five dollars, one pizza. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can buy like two, three pizzas for the family, right? And enjoy the time. We're going to watch a video. This one, it has to do with food pyramids. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn. It's okay? Yes, miss. Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Cool. Yes. What count and non count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade, Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches, non-count nouns, bread, lemonade, specific, I'm eating an egg, let's get some bread, general, eggs are good for you, bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, Let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. 
I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so we'll close out the video. That was an introduction for you to remember about some or any. Do you remember some and any? Yes. Yes. They are like to use quantifiers, right? But now I need you to watch another video. And this one is to say some extra vocabulary that we can have. Let's check this one. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, fat. Sugar. Oh, sugar, cream, cream, butter, butter. Candy. candy, oil, oil. potato chips, Butary chips, Meat and other protein. Fish, Fish. beans, beans, nuts, Nets. Chicken. Chicken. Eggs. Eggs. Beef. Beef. Dairy. Milk. Milk. Yogurt. Yogurt. Cheese. Cheese. Fruit. Fruit. Bananas. Bananas. Apples. Apples. Oranges. Oranges. Strawberries. Mangoes. Vegetables. Broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and coworkers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so let's remember about this. We have the food pyramid, 
and the ones we have at different types of food. So now let's express what food you like and what food you don't like. For example, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. We also have the third person form if you express about other person. My sister likes milk, yogurt, but she doesn't like cheese. Let's remember here that in the first person or other subjects like I, you, we, and they, the form of the verb is base form. Now, if you are talking about other person, but it's only one, so third person singular will be he, she, it, and the S form of the verb. So in this case, my sister likes. My sister likes milk, yogurt, but she doesn't like cheese. This is affirmative. The other part of the sentence is negative. For that reason is that you have doesn't in the verb in the base form. Now, let's continue. Now you tell me your information. I like. What can you tell me about it? Kevin, give us another example, please. Okay. Um, I like grapes. Uh, excellent. Chips and I like almonds. grapes. Okay. I like grapes, corn, chips, and almonds. Yeah. Almonds. Very yes. good. Almonds. Very good. What and about the second exercise? Uh -huh. I don't like. I don't broccoli. I don't like broccoli. I don't broccoli and salsa de soya. ¿Cómo se soya dice? sauce. Soya sauce. Soya sauce. And soya sauce. Mm -hmm. You don't like it? Ah, in Chinese food? Yes, pero menos eso. Sabes a todo, pero oh, menos eso. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's good. That ingredient you don't like. Very good. Thank uh -huh. you, Kevin. Very good job. Judy, continue, please. Um. Hello, Judy. Hello. A little bit. Poquito. Se escucha poquito. Hola, hola, hola. Okay, now yes. Clear Tengo grapes. que gritar. Yes. Go ahead. Eh, I, I like... like... Huh. Oh, puedes, ¿tiene uno de acá o cualquier tipo de alimento? Any type of food, el que usted mm. le guste. The one that I you like, prefer. Ajá. Okay. I like um, seafood. Excellent. Seafood. I like seafood. Um, pues uno. Sí. No, I yes, like... you can mention more. Yes. Okay. I like seafood. Uh, uh -huh. Grapes. Grapes. Mm. Cake and cake. cake and cake. Okay. Seafood, like, grapes, and cake. Excellent. I don't like. I don't like. Mm, I no sé que no me gusta ni toda la comida. Me gusta. Do you like pacaya? I don't like. Pacaya. Perdón. I like I, pacaya. You like it? Okay. You are of my team. I like pacaya too. So you like flor de sote, right? You like flor de sote. También me gusta la flor de sot. Es el good. oroco. Es good. El oroco también. Do you like oroco? It's good with pupusas. Kevin, you don't like oroco? Sí, sí me gusta. Yeah. It's good with pupusas, right? Actually, well, in the actuality, we know that it exists in Pizza Hut, the oroco pizza, right? Yes. Have you tasted? It's good. Mi, mi, lo que sí no me gusta. O sea, uh -huh. me gustan todos los mariscos en general. Seafood. Seafood I, in general you like. Seafood. Sí, pero hay uno en específico que ese si no es el Ajá. caracol. Ah, Eso quizás no me gusta. You don't like snail. Ah, That's the snail. Yes. Um, I okay. don't like snail. 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 Okay, snail. snail. Very good job. Thank you, Judy. Rafael, continue. Okay. okay. I like pizza okay. and chicken. And chicken. Um, Excellent. Very good. I don't like garlic. Okay. And beans. <laughs> and beans. Okay. You don't like garlic and beans. Oh my goodness. You know you don't like beans? Do you like beans, pupusas? Uh, I don't know. No? Pupusas de frijoles. No. Bean pupusas? No? no. 
Oh my God, you're no Salvatorian. My, my favorite <laughs> pupusa is um, uh, cheese with Loroco. <laughs> with Loroco, ah, okay. They are good. Thank you. Really good job. Kenny Vanessa, continue, please. Good night, me. Hey, good evening, Kenya. Um, I like strawberry. Strawberries. Um, broccoli. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, chicken. And chicken. Very good. Nice. What about that you don't like? What's the I food don't you? like espinaca, como digo? Spinach. Spinach. Um, solamente eso. No? Only that. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Sandra Margarita. Another example. I like grapes, vegetables, okay. and seafood. And seafood. Excellent. And I don't, don't like? like I don't like chocolate. Oh, okay. And pacaya. <laughs> and pacaya. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Aaron. Welcome, Aaron. Welcome, Blanquita. We are here. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Emily. Hey, nice to see you guys. Okay, work with the food that you like and you don't like. Okay, I like. Um, lasagna. Okay. I like uh, soup of. Uh, how do you say patas? Patas soup. Patas Pata soup. soup. Mm -hmm. um, I like um, ceviches. Ah, ceviches are good also. Yes, that's true. Very how do good. you say ceviches? Ceviche is a proper name. Es un nombre propio. Soy ceviche. Okay. You like ceviche? Um, cocktail de conchas. Shell cocktail. I don't like pitos in el guaste. You don't like I pitos? don't like. They are no. good. And also in bean I soup. I don't. In sopa de frijoles also, huh? right? In bean soup. Oh, sí, yes. They're good. Yes, yes, sí. And right. I don't like eggs. X in alguaste. Ah, okay. So I think the ingredient is the problem. Alguaste is the problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's good. Thank you, Aaron. Very good. Blanca? Blanca, can you participate? Maybe she doesn't. Oh, pero, teacher. Yeah, right. uh -huh. Yes. Pero el, 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 la, salsa, la salsa negra combinada en el, en el mango sí me gusta. Ah. Combinado que lleva todo. Cuando le echan todo al mango, sí me gusta. So you like like a pear Esa es la única diferencia. With the mango. Ah, okay. Nice. Thank you. That's good. So Blanca, I, I think it's not possible for her to participate. Right? Okay. Maria Emilia? Eh, I like lasaña. Mm -hmm. Good. Ma mangos. Mangos, yes. And chocolate. A chocolate, excellent. What is that you don't like? What's the I don't like? I don't like cereal. Cereal, okay. No, eh, loroco. Loroco, okay. <laughs> and chile <laughs> relleno. All right, that's good. Thank <laughs> you so much. Good, Emily. <laughs> Emily, are you present? Yes, teacher. Okay. Give us okay. examples, please. Okay, I like a cake. Uh, I like cookies. I like cake. I like cake. Okay, cake, cookies, cookies, and okay. pupusas. And pupusas. But, yeah, you are very Salvadorian. That's good. Yes. yes. <laughs> but I don't like loroco and tomatoes. And tomatoes. You don't like tomatoes? No, I don't like. Okay, interesting. Very good. Thank you, Emily. Glenda. Glenda, are you present? Hola. Hello, Glenda. Me escucha. Yes, I can listen to you. Yes. I like almonds. I eh, like ¿Cómo se dice almendra? Almonds. 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 
green, mango. beef, green mango, beef. Ah, mangoes, y, uh -huh. y broccoli. And broccoli, very good. You don't I like? don't like chocolate. I don't like chocolate. Okay, very good. Thank you. Alba Marisol. I like pupusa. Nice. Uh, chicken and bean. Mm -hmm. And don't like Coca-Cola. You don't like Coca-Cola. Okay, it's not good for the body, right? Actually, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Let's continue. Fernando, please. Fernando, now I need you to express the things that another person likes or doesn't like. For example, my mother likes cookies, but she doesn't like chocolates. Fernando, are you there? Yes. Yes, okay. My mother likes Mexican food. Mm -hmm. Okay, but she doesn't. I doesn't like but she, she doesn't. doesn't like onion. Uh -huh. Okay. She doesn't like onion. Very good job. That's nice. Thank you. Right. Very nice job. Elmer. Are you there, Elmer? Elmer de Nilsson? No? Melba? Melba Patricia? Yes. Yes, okay. okay. Now talk about another person, please. A person that you know, maybe about member your your family, maybe a friend. Um my sister. My sister. My sister likes uh, Coca-Cola. Nice. Pepsi. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't like but water. She doesn't. Okay, <laughs> but she doesn't like water. Um, no sé cómo se dice así como frescos naturales. Natural refreshment. Natural refreshment. Don't like natural refreshment. Very good. Nice. Thank you. That's good. So this will be natural refreshment. All of those, like if it's carrot juice, tomato juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, all that is natural refreshment. That is very good. Okay, we did the practice here already. Now let's check about another one that we have. Now, if you notice here, we have about the case of different nouns, but these nouns are also possible to count or not count but what is a noun as on the video you watch a noun is everything that you can give a name un nombre es todo aquel al que le podemos nombrar de alguna eh, manera no incluso nuestros nombres son nombres pero son propios but everything a todo lo que podemos darle un nombre is that is a noun so if we check here the first Count nouns. Count nouns are nouns that they are possible to count individually. So it's possible to say one, two, three, four, five, a small quantity or a big quantity or a number. For example, in the case of tomatoes, it's possible to count individually. You can say a tomato, one tomato, two tomatoes, three tomatoes. In the case of the potatoes, also it's possible to say a number. One, two, three potatoes. In this case, right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The ones that is possible to observe is like seven potatoes. So it's possible to say a quantity. Mango. Do you like mango, guys? Yes. Yeah, right? I think yes. everybody likes mango. Right? Yes. Delicious. Uh, mango twist? Yes. Yeah, right. They are very good. Yes. Carrots. It's possible, right? Also, to count, you can make salad. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, raw. Yeah, yeah that is China. true. In Chinese food, also, it's good. Yes, that is true. So, in the case of mango, it's possible to count mangoes. You can say one, two, three mangoes. More, right? Quantity of mangoes or a number. Carrots also, it's possible to count carrots. Two carrots, three carrots. Three peppers. Yes, it's possible to count. Choris. Is it possible to count choris? How does? Yes. Yes. When yes. When you go to I the like. stand, 
right? You like them, right? And you ask, hey, please give me 10 choris. Give me 10 hot dogs. So it's possible to make a number with them. Hamburgers also. It's possible to count the hamburgers and apples, right? So all they are possible. Now, mention other nouns, please. Give me other examples of a noun that is possible to count. Otros nombres que es posible contarlos. Yes? House, for example. You can say two houses, three houses. What else? Animals. Animals, exactly. What else? Orange. Orange, Orange. yes. Yeah, possible people. to say. People, excellent. You can count two persons, three persons, five people, right? What else? Kevin? Bananas. Bananas, yes, two bananas, three bananas. Some Chairs. 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 Chairs is possible. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chairs, tables, computers. So all of those elements are possible to say a number, right? We can and book. them. Books, aha, uh -huh. correct. It's possible to count the books. Eggs. Eggs, it's possible to count the eggs. That is correct. So these ones are examples of the nouns that it's possible to say a number. Now, but we have the opposite case. We also have the elements that they are not possible to count. Not like exactly the noun, but we can count the specific quantities. For example, and count nouns. Not possible to count. They are not possible to count individually. For example, jam. What is jam? Alea. Alea. Mermelada, right? All that. So it's incorrect to say two jams, dos mermeladas. No, a menos que contenga sugar. los sugar. frascos. Ajá, sugar, ajá. Right? You cannot count it, right? Ice cream. In El Salvador, we say two ice creams, like dos sorbetes, pero en realidad se, se, se cuentan las bolas de, de sorbete o las cucharadas que nos entregan, esas son las cantidades, o los conos. But in general, ice cream, we cannot count. Popcorn, we don't say two popcorns, dos palomitas, no, pueden ser bolsas de palomita o las cubetas, right? You can say a bucket of popcorn, potato chips, bread, One bread, no. Two breads, no. You can say pieces of bread. Lo que es correcto es contar las piezas, las piezas de pan, pero en sí el pan. Una cora de dos pan. Panes, una cora de pan. Ah, pero ahí estamos contando la, la cantidad, ¿verdad? La cantidad del pan. El, pero el pan en sí, un pan, dos panes, nosotros lo utilizamos así, ¿verdad? En español todo es posible, ¿verdad? Right? <ríe> But in English, it's not correct to say two, two breads, three breads. O como el agua. Demi un agua, we say. <laughs> And it's not correct. The correct is a glass of water, un vaso de agua, un litro de agua, a liter of water, a bottle of water. Same case y with... Y una bolsa de agua. Ah, ajá. Yes. <laughs> so a bag of water. Pero ahí es correcto porque contamos yes. el, el recipiente. Ah. Pero un, Demi un agua, we say. Right? Dos aguas. Y el, uh -huh. el líquido no es contable. Ahora los depósitos sí. Yes, who has a question? Rice, Rafael, right? Rice and sugar. Ah, rice and sugar, they are not countable. Ajá, porque no decimos dos azúcares. Right? O dos arroces. Son, son cantidades eh, que vienen en partículas tan insignificantes que no se pueden contar. Cuando vamos a la tienda no decimos deme dos arroces o dos azúcar, pero las cantidades sí, como una libra, onzas, arrobas. Solo que contamos son las medidas, pero el elemento en sí no es correcto eh, darle una cantidad, cantidad como con número. Other case will be spaghetti. We don't say two spaghetti, right? We say spaghetti or pasta in general. Beef, what is beef? Carne. Ajá, pero en específico de res, Ajá. ya que carne en general es meat. Y como tenemos diferentes tipos de carne, right? So meat in general, but also we have chicken. Chicken, cuando hablamos de chicken, pero si nos referimos a la carne de pollo, es incontable. Entonces, decimos 
Deme dos pollos, decimos las libras. Lo correcto es decir las libras. De two pounds of chicken. Pero si hablamos del animal que está vivo, entonces sí, podemos contarlo como two chickens. I have um, ten chickens in my house. Tengo diez pollos. Ah, pero si lo estamos contando así con cantidad, entonces es porque el animal está vivo. Ha sobrevivido. <risa> But if you talk about the meat, si nos referimos a la carne de pollo, entonces solo es chicken. I eat chicken. I like chicken. Lemonade is liquid. So it cannot be two lemonades. But a glass of lemonade, it can be two glasses of lemonade. So these are non-cow nouns. Any question? No questions no, about this? No? No questions. All right. If we are going to pass the list. So let me know if you are present, please. Okay. Aaron? Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Alba Marisol? Present. Thank you, Alba. Blanca Rosa? Yes, I saw Alba. And I saw Blanca too. Elmer de Nilsson. Elmer de Nilsson. Evelyn Yesenia. Yes, Present. I saw Evelyn too. Thank you, Evelyn. Fernando de Jesús. Present. Miss Present. Elmer. Elmer. Oh, yes. Thank you, Elmer. Thank you so much. Fernando is present. Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Glenda. Juan Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you, Juan. Kenia Vanessa. Present, Miss. Thank you, Kenia. Kevin Adrián. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Maria Emilia. Present, Miss. Thank you, Emilia. Melba Patricia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Melba. Nevi, uh, Nevi, yes, she has problem with the energy. Rafael Antonio? Rafael Antonio? Present me. Thank you, Rafael. Rebeca Vanessa? Okay. Rebeca Vanessa? Sandra Guadalupe? Sandra Guadalupe? Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Marioris. Jacqueline Marioris. Judy Edith. SMEs. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go on here. Who is writing? Yes, Blanquita here is present. Yes, okay. Juan Alberto no, no lo tomó, lo tomó también. Mis... Juan Alberto is here, yes. Let me Digo que estaba en el trabajo, pero estaba conectado, Ajá. pero como oyente. Yes, yes, he was connected. Miss Nevi dijo que no tenía luz. Ajá, yes, ahí, ajá, estaba viendo ahí. Ya no le regresó al final. Ya no, ajá, ya no le, le regresó la luz, ¿verdad? Ajá, yes. Yes, Juan Alberto, I have the, yes, thank you, thank you so much, guys. All right, let's go ahead here. Okay, so we work with the non-count nouns. Count and non-count nouns. We know that they are possible or not possible to count. I have here other examples with the ones it's possible to count, the two types of nouns. Quantity words with count and non-count nouns. Singular count. For example, a tomato. Remember, a represents one. So you say one tomato or a tomato. In the plural form, tomatoes. Non-count, coffee. We know that coffee is liquid, so it's not correct to say two coffees. De manera informal, se utiliza como deme dos cafés, but it's a liquid. You can say eh, two cups of coffee, like here. Two cups of coffee, one cup of coffee. One tomato, two tomatoes, five tomatoes. 
some tomatoes, remember here, some, that means algunos, es un cuantificador, so some tomatoes, some coffee, no tomato, no existency, remember, existency, not existency, this is negative, no tomatoes, no coffee, no existency of coffee, any tomatoes, quantifier, you can use with questions, in negatives. Remember, any is not for affirmative cases. Any coffee with questions and negatives. A lot of tomatoes. A lot of is another quantifier. A lot of es otro cuantificador que indica muchos o muchas o bastantes. So, a lot of tomatoes or a lot of coffee. En este caso sería bastante café o mucho café. Many, many is only for plural. Many, si solo indica solo para plural. Muchos o muchas. Many tomatoes, many carrots, many almonds, many cups of coffee also can be. Many chores, many hamburgers, many apples. And in the case of much is for nine counts. En el caso de much es otro cuantificador, pero solo para incontables, para decir mucho café. Much coffee. Uh, you can also say much sugar, much salt, much honey. But only to formulate questions in negative. It's not for affirmative. Another quantifier will be a few. A few means pocos o pocas. También es solo para plural, pero indica o expresa una cantidad pequeña. A few tomatoes. A little coffee. Ahora, a liter sería como el incontable de a few. Un poco de café. A liter coffee. A liter water. A liter rice. A liter cheese. Un poco de. Several. Varios o varias. Is for plural. Several tomatoes. Varios tomates. Several carrots. Several Uh, oranges, several, uh, you can also say um, hamburgers, several cups of coffee. Ahora acá utilizamos el cuantificador, pero porque estamos contando la medida. Cups of, but no, several coffees, right? Varios cafés, no. Several cups of coffee, varias tazas de café. How many is to formulate question, like cuántos, cuántos o cuántas. Es para, para preguntar. De una cantidad plural. How many tomatoes? How many hamburgers? How many chickens? Or how much coffee? Now, how much formulates the question of a noun that is not possible to count. So they investigate the quantity. ¿Cuánto café? How much sugar? Um, how much coffee? How much rice? How much cheese? How much jam? So this will be different quantifiers. Any question with this? Hello, no questions? No question. No? Okay, now let's check here. Miss, le quiero tomar una foto. Okay, to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, bromas. <laughs> to this one? Yes, yes. Okay. Vaya, ahí las tengo a las dos. Yes. A ver, ok, that's good. The picture. <laughs> ok, so as you observe the video, we can also formulate questions like uh, with the yes, no question. So let's see here. As we were, they are mentioning what is a noun. You can use it to different persons, places, things. It can be for animals, whatever that you can give a name. And it can classify count nouns or non-count nouns. So let's have some questions. It says, do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some or let's get some eggs. The word in parentheses is because it's optional. You can use it or you can omit. Negative, no, we don't need any eggs. Or no, we don't need any. Do we need any bread? Yes, 
Let's get some. Or yes, let's get some bread. Negative. No, we don't need any bread. Or no, we don't need any. If you observe here in the question, we have any and and when is the time to give the answer? Affirmative is only some, but negative is only any. So don't use any for affirmative, right? The only connection that they have is some and any for the question. La única conexión que tienen es para formular la pregunta, que puede, puede ser cualquiera de los dos, some or any. Necesitamos algunos huevos. Uh, yes, let's get some. Sí, eh, consigamos algunos. So that's some is the form of affirmative. A negative, no, we don't need any. No, no necesitamos ningunos. That will be negative manner. In the count nouns, a neg. Remember here, a or n represents only one. Well, egg because it's possible to count. So you can make it plural. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Sandwich is possible to count. Non count nouns, no possible to count. Bread, lemonade. A specific, let's see examples. I'm eating an egg, only one egg. Let's get some bread. It doesn't say let's get breads or some breads. In general, general is because you use a plural manner. You say eggs are good for you, but it's a generalization. Bread is good for you. So, if it's the question, use any or some. If it's affirmative, only some. If it's negative, only any. Questions about this? Let's give some examples then. We have, I need some eggs. This is affirmative or negative? Affirmative. 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 Excellent. Now we have the next one. I don't need any milk. Affirmative or negative? Negative. That's negative. negative. Excellent. All right. Now you give me your own examples. But first, let's see this one. I Teacher, need some. Yes, tell me. En el caso de esa pregunta, I don't need any milk. Yo no this necesito ni... Yo no necesito ninguna leche. O sea, Nada. No sería... No, no Nada necesito, de leche. No sería... No sería mejor no. decir I don't need I don't need milk. What happened is that both are possible. Ambas son posibles utilizarlas. Mm -hmm. Ese any como les mencionaba, sí. ya sea some or any, esos solo son cuantificadores como para darle más formalidad y hacerlo como más específico. Negative. Pero en el caso de any en la negativa, ya any acá ya no lo, lo vamos a traducir como ninguna, sino como nada de cuando el nombre es incontable. Si tenemos Entonces, la, la, Ajá. La, 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 ya traduciendo la oración, o sea, se escucha el correcto decir, yo no necesito ninguna leche. No, nada de leche. Nada de leche. Yo no necesito nada de leche. Nada de leche. Es para ponerle más énfasis. Es que no se sé si necesita nada, nada de leche. Uh -huh. Ahora, si es, si es un nombre contable, entonces sí necesita como utilizar acá, ¿verdad? Any onions. For example, I need some carrots. Necesito algunas eh, zanahorias. No necesito ningunas eh, cebollas. cebollas. Ajá, aquí sí serían ningunas. Uh -huh. Pero en el caso del nombre incontable, tendría que ser nada de, nada de algo. Algún líquido, algo que, que no podemos contar. La traducción es la diferente acá. Any, entonces eh, podemos tomarlo como nada. Na, ajá, nada, nada, de. nada de algo incontable, pero si es plural, ningunas. O ninguna, o oh, tiene, tiene como dos significados, entonces. Tiene, ajá, correcto, dos significados. Ok. Pero okay. siempre puede ser con ambos, ¿verdad? Utilizado, ya sea con un nombre incontable o incontable. Okay. Pero está haciendo énfasis, eh, hace énfasis en que no necesita nada de eso o no tiene nada de eso. Depende del verbo que utilicemos. Acá porque utilizamos need, pero puedo utilizar otros verbos también. Okay. Uh -huh. So, another example would be, I need some carrots. 
I don't need any onions. So we have affirmative, negative. But also we have siempre, some questions. Y siempre va a ir, y siempre va a ir después, del, después del verbo. After the verb, ajá, correct, because you cannot say, I some need, no. No, lo, no podemos decir. Uh -huh. No, no, siempre va a ir como el cuantificador antes del nombre. A menos que okay. sea una respuesta corta, como mencionábamos acá, que puede omitirse, así como acá, dice, do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. Puede llegar hasta el cuantificador porque... Ya en la pregunta ya está implícito. Ya hacemos como énfasis Ajá, que no ya necesitamos. Hacemos énfasis. Ajá, correct. So if it's affirmative, some. Sí, consigamos algunas, pero ya sabemos a qué se refiere si algunas, porque ya está mencionado uh -huh. en la pregunta. Igual a negative. You say, no, we don't need any. No, no necesitamos ningunos. Pero ya sabe a qué se refiere, right? Okay. That's why it's like, you can... Mention or not. You can omit or not. It's optional. So yeah. let's have, you have questions here. Let's practice them. Do you need some sugar for your coffee? Suppose that this one is affirmative. Affirmative answer. Emilia, how will you answer this one? Do you need some sugar for your coffee? Eh, negative o Suppose normal. that is affirmative. Affirmative. I... Yes? Because it's yes, yeah, right? Yes, no I, question, right? I need... Yes? I need... I need... So... Some. Right? Some. And that's it, because it's affirmative. Do you need some sugar for your coffee? Yes, I need some. That would be affirmative. Think... Yeah, that is correct. This oh, will okay. be, that is correct. Good. So yes, I need some. Because it's affirmative, then it's possible to use some. So you cannot use any. Yes, I need any. No, because any is for negatives. Now, in the case that you say, eh, no. that is negative manner. No, I don't. <laughs> Need what else? What else Any. is missing? Any perfect. Any. That is correct. Because I put emphasis. Put emphasis on it. What about the next one? Glenda, can you continue? Does the baker need any flour for the cake? Oh, first, what is baker? Have you heard what is baker? Uh -huh. Pastel. No, this is a subject. Is the Pan. person who is the person that makes bread? Panadero. Exactly. Uh -huh. That is correct. Does the baker need any flour for the cake? Suppose that is affirmative. Yes. Uh -huh. No, you, because the subject is their person. Yes, he. Uh -huh. Yes, he. Yes, he. What else? Yes, he need. Yes, he need. Need some. Is that some. correct? Some. some. Need some. some. Okay. Some. Let's check. Is this correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. Why? Any. Oh, no, 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 no. Any. Are you sure it's affirmative? Need it. Need, need it. No, need it. Yes, it's it correct, teacher. Like this is correct? Yes. The S? Yes. yes. Remember that you always need the S included to the verb because you are referring to, first mm -hmm. because it's a simple yes. present, right? And it's correct. third person form, right? Third person singular, you need the S in the verb and it's affirmative form. Yes. Remember? Okay. Remember that one? Perfect. Yeah, good. What about if it's negative? I don't. Give us the answer. No. Uh -huh. No, he no he don't. Third person. He don't no, he does. Is correct? No. No, he no, he 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 does. 
Doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't does. need. Negative. Aha. He, she, it. Excellent. That's good. No, he doesn't need. Any. Any. Okay. And that's it. That is what you need. That's what you need to make it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's ask others. Elmer, are you present, Elmer? Elmer, are you there? Juan Alberto? Juan Alberto, are you there? No. No está conectado, Juan Alberto. No, he's not connected, right? Okay, then let's see. Rafael. Yes. Hey, Rafael. Okay, some questions here. Let's see. Do you need mm -hmm. some pasta? Do you need some pasta or spaghetti? What will be the answer? It can be affirmative or negative. Rafael, are you there? Yes, I need. Yes, I need. Um, some pasta. Uh, that's good. Yes, yes, I need some pasta. Yes, I need uh, some affirmative. Uh, yes, I need some spaghetti. Yes, oh, I need good. some spaghetti. Yes, I need some spaghetti. Or yes, I need some. some. That's correct. Some good. Form. Very good job. Some. Okay. Kevin, you formulate the question for Sandra Margarita. It can be uh, count now. Puede ser um, count or non count. Um, Sandra, do you need some ice cream? Nice. For okay. you, mm -hmm. afternoon. Aha, uh -huh. for the afternoon? Uh, no, I don't need any. Any, excellent job, that's good. Glenda, formulate once to Evelyn. Glenda? Glenda, are you here? No? Evelyn? Yes. Evelyn? Okay, now you can ask Kenya Vanessa, please. Evelyn, formulate a question to Kenya. Okay. Kenya, do you need uh, so any breath uh, for tonight? Mm, that's good, yes. <clears throat> can you repeat it, Evelyn, please? Yes. And do you need do you need any breath uh, to tonight for tonight? Yes, I like. No like the verb is need. Oh. Mm -hmm. I need. Yes, I need some. Some excellent. That's very good. Nice. Kevin, you're going to formulate another question for, let me see, for Alba. Are you present, Alba? No? Yes. Yes. Okay. Kevin, to Alba. Kevin? Kevin, can you hear? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Kevin, Adrian, formulate the sí, question to hay, Alba, please. Es que pensé no si estaba Nevi todavía porque Nevi estaba escuchando. <laughs> yes. Um, other question, ¿verdad? Yes, another question. And now you formulate it with a countdown. Look, can be mangoes, carrots, potatoes, hamburgers, choice. Um, podría ser... Um, do we need okay. any strawberries? All right, that's good. Do we need any strawberries? Yes, I need 
song. Okay. Very, uh, very good. Just that in that case, you need to say, yes, we need some. Porque la pregunta es, do we need? Necesitamos algunas. So, yes, we need some or any. Alba? Any. Sería. If it's affirmative, it's some. Okay. Uh -huh. If it's negative, then you say any. No, we don't need any. Or affirmative, yes, we need some. Good one? Yes. Okay. Some. okay. Some. That's good, right? Nice. Aaron, you're going to formulate the questions to... Let me see what is present. To Emilia. Do... Um, no, okay, this yeah. do, do, do you need, um, do you need, do you need potatoes? Mm -hmm. Try to use quantify. Do you need any potatoes or you, do you need some potatoes? Do you need, do you need some potatoes? Mm -hmm. That's good. Do you need some potatoes? Mm -hmm. Emilia? Emilia, are you here? Hello? Emilia? She has problems maybe with the connection. Okay, I don't then you're going to ask to Judith. Judith, are you here? Yes, here you are, Judith. Hello? Hello, we can hear you. I don't can you repeat the question, please? Okay, um, Judy, do you need do you need some potatoes and tom tomatoes? Thank you, very good. Uh, yes, I need. Yes, yes I, I need. need. Yes, I need some potatoes and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Yes, you're mentioning the mm -hmm. two specific elements. Very good job, guys. All right, good. Look, we have this practice. Tomorrow we continue practicing with this. All right. Any question? No teacher. No questions? No questions. All no right. Teacher. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. And we go on tomorrow. We continue tomorrow. Maria Emilia dice que le está fallando el inter teacher. Yes, she has problems, right? Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Este, de esta, de esta clase, este, me, bueno, todavía, todavía me tenía que despejar unas dudas porque no me quedó muy claro la función del, del, del sum y del, y del any. Some en el some. caso. Ajá, sum and ah, any you can use for question. Se puede utilizar solamente, ambos para preguntas. Son, solo, solo para preguntas, ¿verdad? Pero al momento de eh, dar una respuesta o para hacer una afirmación, solo utilizo eh, SOM, que significa algunos, algunas, algo de, si es algo eh, incontable, algo de azúcar, SOM sugar. Y ENI puede ser para pregunta, pero también para negativa. O sea, la única relación que tienen es para formular pregunta. Pero al momento de... Si la oración va a ser afirmativa o negativa, SOM es eh, para afirmativa y ENI es para negativa. Pero son cuantificadores que indican algo, algunos, algunas. Algo en, alguna de... pregunta, en, alguna pregunta firma, en alguna pregunta afirmativa no vamos a poder utilizar en, ENI. ¿Cómo no? Cualquiera de las dos. Es que en la pregunta significa algo de, en la pregunta. Ok. Cualquiera de las dos. Pero para okay. dar una respuesta o para una afirmación, Solo es son para indicar. Eh, I have ah, eh, some potatoes. Uh -huh. Es que eso es, lo que eso es lo que no tenía uh -huh. muy claro. Entonces, is... el son solamente va a ser. Para pregunta y afirmativa. Para afirmativa, ok. Uh -huh. y, pregunta, y, la ¿no? y la respuesta, y si la respuesta es negativa, Entonces, sí vamos solo a utilizar es any. any. Solo oh, es okay. any. La, la, única la única relación que tienen estos dos cuantificadores es al momento de hacer la pregunta, porque ambos indican 
algo, algún, algunos, puede ser para contables o incontables, pero al sí, momento es que... de responder, afirmativa solo es some. Sí, okay. tengo algunas. For example, if you formulate the question, do you need some potatoes? What is the answer? Give me affirmative answer. Do you need some potatoes? Yes? Yes, let's have some. Ah, that's good. Yes, let's get some. If it's negative? No. We don't need any. Any. Excellent. Because it's negative. So mm -hmm. In the question, you can also ask, eh, do you need any potatoes? Do you need some potatoes? Questions? The two forms. Affirmative, only some. Negative, only any. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tal vez nos puede mandar algún ejemplo o alguna, algún, yes. algunos ejercicios de, para, para reforzar. Sí, les tengo, les tengo preparados ahí unos ejercicios también para enviárselos como refuerzo. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. And remember that you can also continue with the platform, right? With the exercise 4.4. For example, Eso here, que... let's check. Ajá. Eso quería preguntarle, teacher. Este... Todavía esta semana podemos completar la sección 3 porque yo no he podido, conect yo no he podido completarla eh, por motivos de, de trabajo y de tiempo. Y entonces, este, todavía tenemos chance de poder terminar la sección 3 esta semana. Fíjese que según los encargados de Insafor decían que era hasta el jueves anterior, pero si gusta escríbanle mensaje directo a Diego, que es el encargado. Sí, porque es que él mandó Ajá, un mensaje... Él... Ajá. Pero no sé si lo tendré aquí a la mano. Permítame, que solo es para corroborarle, porque me quedó la duda. Pero es que... ese. Hoy Dije, lo envió, lo pero él, él envió ahora el mensaje, pero ya con respecto a la sección 4, que es la que se inicia ahora. Sí, entonces, y dijo que si podíamos completar las demás, pues eh, uh -huh. eh, era, era, muy, era mucho que mejor, vea. Uh -huh. Sí, si ustedes pueden adelantar. Pero, ajá, lo que están pidiendo es la sección 4 y cómo se vaya a hacer eh, esa semana. Sería sección 4 más 50% de la sección 5. Ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. Sí, es que uh -huh. yo dije, lo voy, a voy a preguntar porque yo todavía no he completado la 3, la 3 no, no la he completado. Sí, si gusta, pues... escríbale mensaje directo porque ellos son los que dan el aval, ¿verdad? Como ellos son los en, el que sí. se encargan de ir como actualizando las calificaciones y así pues usted les puede explicar, ¿verdad? Porque no ha, no ha podido completarlos. Ok, uh -huh. perfecto. Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. Tell me about this exercise in the platform. It says, Adam says, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make. This is affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Excellent. So what is the best option? Any or some? Some. Some. That's correct. So let's make some. You're referring to some potatoes. This is para evitar repetición. We have lots of potatoes. Let's make some potatoes. You don't need to repeat it. You can use the quantifier. Let's make some. Es, es una respuesta bien corta, entonces. Ajá, podemos llegar hasta el cuantificador, ya que ya mencionamos ese nombre anteriormente. Entonces, para evitar... ¿Qué es lo que nos preferimos? Exacto. Es así como decimos en español. Ah, sí tenemos bastantes papas. Hagamos unas. Ya no decimos, uh -huh. hagamos unas papas. Tenemos varias papas, uh -huh. hagamos varias papas. <risa> o hagamos algunas papas. You omit the repetition. Lo más común es que se le dije eso, digamos, sí, hagamos unas. Exactly. O oh, algunas. Ok. ¿no? You mis repetition. Questions. Perfect. Questions? No, Mis. Questions. All right, guys. Have a beautiful night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good see night, teachers. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Night. See you. Thank you very much. Good night. Sweet dreams. Dream with the angels. Sweet dreams. Sweet Good dreams. night, guys. Good night, everyone.